What up everybody and welcome to Baz on Blades. My name is Baz and I talk about blades and today guys we're going to do a short video. Uh, not really a review. I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on something you may not be aware of. Um, in front of us we have a Case Barlow. Case Knives uh, Barlow. Now the Barlow model is not a normal production model anymore for Case. Uh, this is what they uh, are calling their 2019 Vault Knife. And what this is, is Case has different patterns that they normally do not produce. And they're held back in the vault. Uh, and um, they trot one out once a year, and that's the Vault Knife of the Year. It's a special limited thing. Uh, the Barlow will be made in 2019 and all of the many different iterations that are available and I have seen probably uh, 15 different iterations with different bolster treatment, uh, different um, cover treatment and they are available in the two blade version and a single blade version also and I think if I'm not wrong guys the single blade version you can either get a clip point or a drop point I, I may be wrong about that drop point I know the clip point is there uh, but in the two blade version you're going to get the clip point and you're going to get whatever what is this the pen knife blade is that drop point I don't know what they're calling that guys I honestly I didn't really uh, research this too much and uh, traditional knives are not my area of expertise at all uh, this knife is not even for my collection I bought this knife as a gift for somebody uh, that helped me out when I was out of work and just to say thank you and I appreciate you I picked up this gentleman this knife right here I think he will be very happy with it it does have uh, some degree of limited uh, availability limited availability that is guys uh, just for 2019 and who knows how long it'll be before they produce another run of Barlow's so this one uh, this iteration is in the smooth red bone it does have the uh, striped and um, script embossed bolster the front bolster the show side bolster uh, the back is just a, a, the same thing but without the embossing on it and uh, brass pins brass liners guys uh, these are in stainless steel. I think all of them are in their true sharp stainless guys. Um, they might be doing the yellow Delrin handles and they might do carbon in those. I'm not sure. It's a little more car um, common in that handle material. Uh, but you know the fit and finish on it is uh, is case. You know not perfect but pretty doggone good. Uh, the springs the spring tension is medium. Um, the walk and talk is pretty decent, guys, on that main blade. Um, yeah, it will snap up off of my hand uh, at both stages, guys. Yeah, there you go. See? Snap up off the hand. Snap up off the hand. Good to go. Uh, plenty there uh, I, you know it's a pretty pretty nicely balanced knife guys um, and it's a Barlow I love a Barlow it is just one of my favorite favorite traditional patterns uh, although I prefer a single blade traditional um, the Barlow gives you enough size to where I think it's an actually a usable knife, guys. A lot of uh, traditional folders, to me, slip joint folders, are so small with blades under two inches long. And that's just too small for bass on blades, guys. I mean, they're pretty, but, um, you know, at that point, I might as well just use the finger of death on somebody. Uh, you know, I want a little bit bigger knife than that. But the Barlow gives you a little bit of size, guys. It's not too bulky. I love the long bolstered look um, on a Barlow, a bolstered Barlow. What I think they call a, a Euro Barlow. 
Uh, it's it's just a pretty pretty knife, guys, and uh, I, I, it's just well done, well done. Now these are available in all kinds of handle materials. I'm gonna open these blades up, guys. Uh, I always hated doing this on a traditional knife. I always felt it was dangerous to have both blades open at the same time. But anyway, I'm going to leave that open there. You guys can look at it. Here, let's do this. Let's do this, guys. Is that a ton of camera glare or what? All right, we'll just leave it like that. So, uh, they're available in a bunch of cover materials. Uh, you've got this smooth red bone. I've seen it in the uh, smooth Appaloosa bone. I've seen it in the yellow Delrin. I've seen it in um, prime stag. I've seen it in the stag jigged bone. Um, I think there's a campfire bone, which is a straight jigged um, brown bone. In fact, here, let's go in here. No Barlow. Oh, guys, this is the... Uh, this is the Smoky Mountain Knife Works catalog for the upcoming uh, Case 130th anniversary event. Uh, if you've never been in Smoky Mountain Knife Works and you're a Case fan, then uh, th their Case counter is insane. It's a big square counter you can walk all the way around, and it's got to be 20, 40, 50, 60 linear feet of counter space with multiple levels guys like three or four shelving levels in it and they've got just about everything that's available from case um and we're not going to be able to get all the page in here guys i've just got my camera too close here because of the uh, small knives but uh, you know case is affiliated with zippo same company basically what do we got here we've got some patriotic stuff we've got some blue jig bone right here all right, there's the Barlow on the blue uh, jig bone. That's a pretty, pretty knife, guys. And there it is. There is the drop point. So it is available in a single blade drop point and clip point. And uh, what was that? The blue jig bone. Okay. Uh, we're going to come over here. We got it again in the brown bone uh, CVs. Okay, so there we go. We do have CV. We do have carbon steel. Um, and that's in sort of the block letter case double X uh, script, two blade um, in the brown jig bone. But that is in carbon steel, guys. Uh, so, yes, that is available. All right, let's get this folded up here. Uh, you got the prime stag up here, $105, guys. That's not too bad. Um, if you can go to the store and sort of hand pick. Uh, make them show you two or three guys. Seriously, I used to work there. If you ask them to show you two or three, they got to show you two or three. Uh, just don't do it when they're super busy, guys. Come on, that place gets absolutely crazy. Uh, there's hundreds of thousands of people that go through that store every year. There's the Appaloosa. It's the smooth bone with the big double X uh, embossing on it and available in a single blade clip point and the dual blade. Let's see here, guys. And, and, of course, we've got all kinds of different case stuff here. Uh, not just case knives, guys, but case memorabilia and, and uh, all of that jazz. Let's see if we get another Barlow in the catalog here, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Unless I'm just overlooking it. Now, there's the... Uh, the bone stag right there in a two blade. That's not a bad cover, guys. The bone stag, if you get one with just the right jigging on it and the right coloring, it's a really good looking handle. Again, uh, you know, when buying stuff like this, I prefer to do it in person. But, uh, you know, you got case storage here. Look at this a case roller case, guys. You have got to be a case fan to have something like that, and more power to you. More power to you. Displays and everything, guys. Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Uh, if you're interested in any case knife product, check them out. And they didn't pay me to do this. Um, yeah, I used to work there, guys, but 
uh, that was many years ago. I just want you guys to know it's a good source for that if you're interested. Uh, these are beautiful knives, guys. Beautiful, beautiful knives. And um, yeah, just well done. Well done. I think uh, my buddy is going to really, really like this. Uh, I hope it goes a long way towards showing him how much I appreciate his help. And um, you know what, guys? If you like the Barlow, you like case knives, we were looking through the catalog, you saw four or five or six different versions, and that's just about half of them, guys. There's all kinds of stuff out there. Uh, go to Smoky Mountain Knife Works, uh, which is smkw.com, or Blade HQ, or Knife Center, or whoever your favorite case dealer is. And uh, check out these Barlows, guys. Uh, the 2019 Vault Knife. And uh, you got it, 2019 production, and then they'll be gone. And once all the in-stock sells out, uh, there won't be any more of the Barlows, I guess. You know, the way they're promoting this is a vault knife. It's not a regularly produced uh, pattern. But uh, check it out, guys. Check it out. Uh, I'm pretty doggone impressed. And you know what? I may go back and get one for myself just to put in my collection. You saw the prices, guys. $59, $69.79. Um, you know, that's a, a half or a third or a quarter what we're used to paying for quality you know, modern flipper, tactical knives, you know. Um, and that's a, it's, a, even if it's not something you're going to carry all the time, it's a great representation in your collection. American made, uh, quality made, guys. It is, it's quality made, no issues there. A typical case build. Um, yeah, there you go, guys. Uh, Case Barlow, 2019 Vault Knife, uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works, uh, my buddy helping me out while I was out of work. This is a great video, guys. I'm going to go back and re-watch this video right now just to see how awesome it is. Um, and all kidding aside, guys, uh, I just want to say thank you to everybody for taking the time to watch another one of my videos. I did keep this one a little shorter than typical, guys, as it was not really a set review. Um, but I did want you guys to know about the availability of these knives, if you're not aware of it. And, um, you know, again, thank you for taking the time to watch another one of my videos. God bless all of you, and we will talk to you again.